Welcome to Sue's Paper Crafts. Today I'm going to share with you a very quick and easy vellum envelope pouch that you can use uh, for gift wrapping. Um, in a class this morning we made a bunch of note cards out of the water uh, color wonder notes and envelopes in the mini catalog and we ended up the class by making this little pouch to put them all in and give us a gift. So I'm going to share that with you. Now we use our um, cardstock vellum, which is in the main catalog, and it is item number 101856. And the largest square that I could get out of the sheet was eight and a half. So I went to the punch board and I looked down here in the larger envelopes and I found uh, eight and a half by eight and a half um, under the paper size, which I could see, you can see there gives me a envelope that is going to be the size of five by five and a half. Okay, and it also, if you go across here, will give you the score line of eight and, or sorry, four and one eight. So I'm gonna take my square piece of vellum and I'm gonna start off by using the guide on the side here. I'm going to line up my edge of vellum at four and one eighths and I'm going to punch and score and I'm going to uh, go ahead and rotate the piece of paper you can see the score line here and I'm going to line that up with this little notch as the guide I'm going to punch and score again now the nice thing with using vellum is you can actually see the score line, the word score line in the line right through the vellum. Um, makes it that much easier to line everything up. So I'm going on my last side here. Got everything scored and punched. There it is, ready to go. I'm gonna use the tool that comes with your envelope punch board. This score tool and I'm just gonna Fold those flaps in and run the score tool over them there. And you end up with this open envelope. So at that point, uh, what we did was we took the uh, envelopes from the note cards that we made. Everybody um, transformed five of the note cards today. And we're going to start placing them in the inside of this open envelope, just like that. Now, the nice thing with the vellum is you can see right through um, the vellum. So I picked the card that I like the best out of the set that we made today, and I'm gonna place that on top so that you can actually see it when you close up this little pouch, okay? Now, I have folded in the sides first, then the bottom, I've got a little glue dot, so I'm going to stick that in the center. And then put that last flap down, that's going to hold it together while you wrap it up. And I'm going to be using the Baker's Twine, it is gold, Baker's Twine, again out of the uh, mini occasions catalog. And I've got about, let's just say two arm lengths of the twine. I'm going to take a little bit keep it um, just off to the one side and I'm going to start wrapping this twice, one, two, then I'm going to tuck it under like that and I'm just going to switch directions here, let's see, like that, there we go, and I'm going to wrap it twice the other direction, I'm going to do a little knot in the center that. Now I've gone ahead and I have taken um, a couple circle punches. I've punched a little pst on uh, the little circle and made a little tag out of that. Um, because we use the Happy Watercolor stamp set today, um, I wanted to make a little tag that coordinated with it. So I'm going to feed one end of the baker's twine through that hole, just like that. I can get it laying flat for you guys so you can see there we go and then I'm just going to tie a little knot and a bow like so 
see, I did that opposite, so it's going to end up upside down on me. There, that's better. And just tie a little bow there, like that. And there you have your finished little parcel. So, super quick and easy, you know, just clip off the ends of your twine and uh, it's ready to go. And you can see the beautiful colors through it, which is great. So when they open it up, you know, it'll all, whatever's inside will just pop right out. So um, I do have a birthday coming up. And because I wanted the parcel to be a surprise, what you can do is you can take just a colorful piece of tissue paper and inside, you see you don't have to put cards inside, and this one I've got um, kind of like little spa items. I've got some bath salts, some stuff for your nails, and I have used a colorful piece of tissue just to fold, to line and fold over the front of it. And then, again, tuck in your sides. There we go. Tuck in one. I've got a little sorry, glue dot there already. And pop it down just like that to close it up. And you can see how you can see the vellum, or sorry, not the vellum, you can see through the vellum and you can see the beautiful color of the tissue, but you can't actually see what's inside. So that is a quick and easy way to um, make the inside a surprise. I'm going to use a couple, uh, a bit of the Island Intigo twine for this one. And wrap it around the other direction, like so. Get it all together here. There we go. Now you could get creative. You could use any color tissue inside, whatever the theme may be. There we go. And I have made just a little tiny happy birthday tag for this one. So I'm going to thread that through one end of my twine. And I'm going to knot it again. See, normally I would lift this up closer to me so that it would be easier for me to tie it up. But I'm trying to keep it down flat for you guys so you can see. Now i got to thread through this way. you got to work the twine a little bit. There we go. Okay. So then, tie your little knot. And there we go. So there's one with a birthday tag on it. And this one's a surprise. With the tissue inside, you can't see what's going to be when you open up. Okay. Um, some other great ideas someone had today was you could put um, you could put a little flower tag and then you could put or some garden seeds on the inside. Um, another one, you could always bake some larger size cookies and it would be the perfect little pouch to put a single cookie in there to surprise somebody in their lunch. So ideas are, you know, endless ideas that you could use it for, but very quick and easy way to um, wrap up a little something. A pair of earrings, necklace, anything. Okay, so um, you can go to my blog. It is Sue's Paper Craft Stock dot blogspot.ca and I would be happy to share any of my other ideas that I have with you. So have a good day and uh, hope you find this useful. Thanks. Bye.